this fancy ray and I'm over here at Powderhorn Tent City and I was walking by here just checking it out and I ran to a brother and brother recognized me. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Brian Johnson. What's Brian that? Johnson. What's good with y'all? Man, everything is good. Tell me, how are you doing? I'm doing, I'm, I'm better than I was, you know, when I was with my girlfriend, I had to get out of her house and then I ended up going to the hospital. And when I got out of the hospital, I didn't have no place to go. Had me a little tent in, in my back, in the back of my car. And uh, I came over here because I knew, I, f I found out that, uh, that they had a tent city over here and that they're providing uh, help, you know, for people that are homeless. Yeah, what, what kind of help are they giving you? So just uh, explain to folks, we're here at Powderhorn Park. And there's a tent city with dozens and dozens and dozens of tents. Even across the, uh, on the other side of the lake, there's uh, there's more tents over yeah. there. Yeah. So there's over over 200 uh, tents. Really? Not not over two. There's more than 200 tenants. Uh huh. So uh, they provide a first aid. First aid. They got uh, uh, they give you beds and mattresses. If you don't got a tent, they give you a tent. Okay. They give you blankets. They feed you every day, three times a meal, three three hots in the cot. Okay, right you know on. What I'm saying. And then uh, there's supposed to be some programs to help you get housing and all that other good stuff. Uh, this 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 uh. uh Tent City just moved from over on, from over um, where the, where everything burnt down uh -huh. on uh, uh, Lake Street and uh, yeah, right off there behind, the behind Cup Foods. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that this this what moved what moved over here. Uh -huh. They put them out of there and fenced it off. Yeah. So you've been out in the Tent City before? No, I've never been in Tent City, but I know a lot of people that have been in okay. Tent City, and I I donated a lot of stuff when I was working at Golden Fingers. Uh huh. And uh, yeah. And uh, donated food and stuff to him. So now I'm downtrodden right now, you know, so I need some help. Yeah? Yeah. So and you're getting the help. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely getting some help. And this is your tent right over That's here? That's my tent. I'm living, I'm living like Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a great attitude, <laughs> Thank man. You. I so, so you're homeless right now? I am homeless. How long have you been homeless for? Uh, About 10 days. Yeah? Yeah. I heard you say you broke up with your girlfriend and got out of the hospital. Yeah, yeah. And so this right here is your only option right now. It's my safe haven. Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it safe out here? Uh, Semi-safe. You know, uh, we got problems, you know, because in every little community there's people doing drugs. Uh -huh. I just uh, picked up like three or four needles and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now they established the needle uh, area, you know, where, they, where if you're using... You put your needles up, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we've got kids running around here barefoot and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. The young man just had an OD the other day before yesterday, and uh, everybody responded to him and gave him the Norcon and what Norcan and everything. So, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, and you said basically say, okay, because the drugs is one thing. How about other kind of crime taking place out here? Oh, well, they ain't messing with my team because I don't play that mess. Okay. But, um, yeah, no, it hasn't been a, hasn't been any uh, uh, real real drama, you know, uh, like it was last year, you know, when they was over there by on Franklin. Uh -huh. You know, there was a lot of drama, a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, having uh, uh, ODs and rapes and all that good stuff. On Franklin? It's, it's monitored. Okay, yeah. it's monitored. Is there some police presence out here? Yes, there's uh, security out here, and then they have the, their own self-security. Okay. Yeah. Monitoring themselves. Mm -hmm. Man, now, now what the folks that are watching on Facebook, and they got a lot of friends out there and friends. Give me your name again. Brian Johnson. Brian, Brian Johnson. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the folks out there that are we're looking. Again, we're at Powderhorn Park at the tent city set up here in the park. The park board allowed the folks to set up their tents. And uh, when I see out here, this looks really peaceful, really nice tents. Anything you want to say to the folks out there watching? Well, uh, you know, if you want to donate, uh, just come to Powderhorn. There's a there's an area where you can uh, you know some, uh, put your donations up, food, uh, anything you want to donate. You know the, uh, we're, we're we're happy to you know receive, and uh, yeah, uh, and then keep us in your prayers. Absolutely. How long do you think you'll be out here for? Uh, I'm waiting on public housing. Uh, they they uh, gave me a letter saying within 30 days I'll have public housing. Really? Yeah. See, that's the thing that happens to a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. There's like unlawful detainers. There's also getting a deposit together. There can be a lot of barriers. Uh, if you got a criminal record, mm -hmm. there can be barriers that you get in your housing. But no, they they just passed a law though. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Educate me. Tell me yeah. what, what law? They just passed a law that they, they can't go to your criminal background no more. Okay. They can't utilize your um credit credit score no more. Uh -huh. You know, so uh, a lot of people are getting privileged because of the people that that don't ha you know that are in this situation. You know, 
they they do have uh, uh, UDs and all. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So this new law where they can't, you know, apply that. You know, How about... The new, that's and fantastic. Then, yeah. And the, one of the keys, of course... And the city doesn't do it either. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And one of the keys, of course, is uh, jobs. You got job possibilities out there? Uh, I'm retired. Okay. I just I, I, I stopped cooking. I used to be a chef at uh -huh. Golden Fingers. And uh -huh. Hell's Golden Kitchen Fingers? And yeah, you know Golden <laughs> Fingers. Yeah, yeah right yeah, on. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm retired. I'm on SSI and SSDI, you know. So I'm just waiting on to get my... Uh, 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 housing, you know, uh -huh. through the government, you know, through the city, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna lay back and be an old man. Well, <laughs> man, you ain't that old, no. but you know, lay back and do what you do. Yeah. Good luck while you're out here. Be On safe 11, while you're out I here. Had a birthday, I'm 55. 55, <laughs> <laughs> my man. Double well, nickel, baby. Double nickel. <laughs> well, happy birthday, my man, Brian Appreciate Johnson. It. And you know what, as you're out here and you're going on this journey, you know that this is just a stepping stone and oh, there's yeah. nothing to worry to go. Yeah. There's no place to go but up. But so up. keep your eye on the prize yes, and work your way up there. God bless you. I appreciate That's it. That's my friend. That's Brian Johnson here at the Powderhorn Park here at the uh, homeless tent. Yeah. Tent, tent city. Tent city out here, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Peace.